Coming up on Hands On Tech, I'm gonna show you what happens when you combine one of these, Apple's new iPad, with one of these, a Thunderbolt cable. Stay tuned. This is Twit. Thanks to the introduction of the M1 chip to the iPad line, at least in marketing speak and in name, uh, the new Apple iPad Pro now supports Thunderbolt. Yes, this is the, the technology that many of you may be familiar with as a way to have a much faster connection along with device charging and uh, display technology all built into one cable. It is the one cable to rule them all. And uh, as Apple has upgraded its iPad Pro, it has finally brought that Thunderbolt beauty to the iPad. So, I'm gonna show you uh, my favorite Thunderbolt 3 dock and how it works with Apple's iPad Pro. That's right, it's not just individual Thunderbolt gadgets you can connect, you can use a whole doggone dock. So let's take a look. Let's start here. I've got the Cal Digit TS3 Plus in hand, as you can see. Uh, this I've done a review on before, so you should definitely check out that video if you want to learn more about this. This is the best Thunderbolt dock for the Mac that you could possibly ever have ever. Uh, quote me on that. This is genuinely the most amazing piece of technology I have next to uh, the new iPad Pro and my MacBook Pro, which I love very much. It gives you the ability to connect a bunch of accessories to your MacBook Pro uh, or any Thunderbolt supported computer, all sorts of things you can plug in. You can uh, plug in SD cards and uh, USB and on the back, you've got ports to uh, not only charge your device, your Thunderbolt device, but as you can see, I've got a display port cable connected. This is full size display port. I've got ethernet here and I've got the power right now because these are what I wanna show off. Uh, but two other daisy chain uh, Thunderbolt, one that goes to the device, one that you can use to daisy chain other Thunderbolt things uh, to this dock, then a USB-C port that uh, I use for another display, as well as four USB on the back. There are five gigabytes per second USB, and then the USB-C is 10 gigs, uh, as well as SPDIF, if that is your audio technology of choice, and then two USB ports on the front that are five gigabytes per second, one that is USB-A and one that is USB-C. So lots of technology packed into this. So let's see what happens if we plug a Thunderbolt cable into the back of it and then plug the other end into the iPad Pro. So I've set up a special little view here uh, so you can see how this works. I've got my iPad Pro in front of me. I've got the cable ready to plug in. Just take that Apple Pencil and put it on top so I don't forget it. And we'll take this and plug it in. Now remember, I've got Ethernet in the back and I've got uh, DisplayPort in the back and power, of course. So we'll take this, we can plug it into the side or we can plug it into the port that's on the side of this keyboard if you've got the Magic Keyboard. So I'm gonna plug it into the side here as more people will have that possibility. And watch what happens. Let's give it a second while it sort of irons itself out and voila, up on the screen pops a mirrored version of what's on the iPad. Now, immediately you might be going, okay, a mirrored version? I don't really care about that. Totally understandable. I am hoping that Apple in the future allows for uh, you to use an external display as an external display and not just a mirrored display. But for now, this is what's available. But I wanna show you something else. So we're gonna pop into the settings app here and we are going to uh, scroll up and you can see that underneath Wi-Fi is Ethernet. Yes, folks, because this CalDigit TS3 dock is connected via Ethernet, it can use the Ethernet that is built into this CalDigit dock that is now connected via this CalDigit dock. So we are getting full Ethernet connection on the iPad Pro. So if you're really needing a, a really good connection, maybe you want to FaceTime and you want to make sure that you can actually have that conversation, this is a great way to make sure that happens. Uh, now let's pop back out because I want to show you something else. So Great, I can do ethernet, I can do uh, an external display via, uh, here I've got DisplayPort, but you could do HDMI if you have an HDMI dock, you could do um, 
you could do HDMI to USB C. You could do H or Display Port to USB C. All those different technologies uh, are able to work as long as the dock supports it. Now, um, let's go ahead and look at the front of the CalDigit dock, where I've got two options here. Oh, three technically options here. I think I want to connect my uh, SD card to my iPad Pro. So I'll pop that in and give it a second to load up. And then you know what? While I'm at it, I want to take this USB-A uh, card and I want to pop that into the USB-A port on the front. And we'll give that a second to load up. And now we're going to go into the Files app. So let's head to the Files app. Now we're in the Files app and I can see my different folders here. I want to go ahead and tap on the side where I've got Mix Pre. That is the name of this SD card. And I could easily pop files into this, take files off of it, just like it's one of the other uh, locations here, as well as SanDisk, where there's already a folder on here. And that folder has stuff inside of it, and I could take things out and put things on. So suddenly it becomes very simple to use all sorts of peripherals with your iPad, with a dock by your, by the side and your iPad there, <laughs> the possibilities kind of just are whew, quite wild. Uh, I could also plug in headphones into this CalDigit dock. So if you lament the exclusion of headphones, uh, of the headphone jack, then you could use that as well as uh, output to um, to speakers or input via microphone if you don't want to use the built-in microphone that is included with the iPad. So there's lots of external technology that you can use. Oh, and because the iPad OS supports uh, pointer technology, yes, you can also use an external mouse or trackpad, and you can also use an external keyboard as well. So. I think this is super awesome. All I did was plug in this Thunderbolt cord to my Thunderbolt dock and voila, I've got access to all of this stuff as well as uh, the ability to, as it stands, mirror to an external display uh, if you prefer to use maybe a larger display than the one that comes with your iPad. Folks, I want to thank you for taking the time to look with me at what is offered when it comes to uh, one bit of Thunderbolt ability uh, on the new iPad Pro. Thanks to that M1 chip, Apple and Intel are friends, and of course, Intel is a Thunderbolt technology, and thus uh, we get Thunderbolt on the iPad. Woohoo! Very exciting stuff, and it means that not only is my iPad charging, but it is also connected to all of these peripherals, and it all just magically works. It's very nice uh, as it all came together. So thanks again for tuning in. I am Micah Sargent. You can catch me on several other shows, iOS Today, uh, Tech News Weekly, and Smart Tech Today here on the Twit Network. Until next time, we'll see you later. No ads, just the content. That's what you get when you join Club Twit. You even get extras like Twit Plus, our new bonus feed just for members, and exclusive access to the Club Twit Discord community. Join now for just $7 a month and support Twit as we continue to create top-notch podcasts you expect and deserve. We're just getting started, so be one of the first to join as we build Club Twit from the ground up. You could be an early member. Go to twit.tv slash club twit to learn more and sign up now. Thanks. Keep up with all the hottest tech news and gadgets. Visit twit.tv. There you'll be able to find and subscribe to all our tech shows. Thanks for watching. Hands on tech.